Welcome back to Axel's definitely did this on time video of the week sort of dealio. In this case, you can see this really old garbage drawing that seven-year-old me did. Maybe older, maybe younger, I don't know. I wanted to recreate this character because I had an old friend of mine earlier this year come in contact with me and they're like, I still have your old drawings of that comic you tried to make. And boy, was that a... A, a journey down memory lane. So, this pink dragon with a helix drawn along its body in blue is like some rancher girl who takes care of big ranching animals and wants to be like a professional rider of some sort. And I thought that would be great to recreate her. You know, update her, but not really, because I legitimately just do kind of a one-for-one, one, just like re-adding anatomy and making it a little more realistic in this case. I might redraw her, redesign her later on, but this was just a stream that I did. Uh, plug my Twitch in. I stream periodically throughout the week. It's mostly like random right now. I try to do it kind of in the afternoon, evening time. Check it out. I mostly just do drawing 3D animation stuff. And uh, I just wanted to do, you know, recreate something from my childhood. Uh, the story in particular was called Zaggle Yar because I wanted child me was smart and knew how to make up fake words, like most children do. <laughs> and it was just a planet of anthropomorphic creatures. There's there's mostly, there's like dragon characters, there's saber tooth cat, you know, anthropomorphs and wolf. There was a wolf anthro that turned into a werewolf. Ah, uh, I'm very amused with my childhood brain. I've been trying to do my sculpts faster lately, just to, you know, get them done. And since this is just kind of a quick sketch, I'm kind of using some new little methods that I've learned from doing a bunch of these dumb head sculpts. I was also thinking of offering these sort of uh, bus as like commission. I'm not really sure how much I'd charge for them. I think I spent like two hours on this, maybe less. Um, sorry for all the hard S's. The eye portions are always the part that I have the hardest time with because like eyelid shape, curvature around the orb. Bleah. But I also, for making it quickly colored, I use vertex paint a lot. And since it's already a high poly mesh, it's gonna take detail decently, but it will look chunky on these like helix designs here. Um, but I'll shut up and let you watch the video. Enjoy!
if you're at this point and you're still listening, this character's name is Nitra. I completely forgot to mention that beginning. You can whisper, I know the true dragon's name in the comments below. Because, you know, channel, community, uh, interactions. What's the word I was thinking of? Thanks for watching, have a good day, check out any sort of links I might put below if you want to see more of my art, and be oh so kind as to comment what you liked about the video, what you wanted me to stop talking about, maybe what you prefer to see in the future. You want to see an animation? I'm working on that, so maybe stay tuned, it might be like months down the line to be honest at this rate. But I'm trying. I kind of suddenly got a bunch of like drawing and short animation commissions to do, so I'm doing those. Will I post them? Maybe. If I can. If it's YouTube accurate to say that, you know, that's the quality of work that you would expect. But who knows? Um, please have a good day. <laughs> have fun. Bye. <laughs>